This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about the big meeting in Cincinnati. This was in the Observer from November 13th, 1995. Vince McMahon had a surprise meeting with the wrestlers at the November 3rd house show in Cincinnati. Don't have much in the way of details, but it apparently was to combat the poor morale of late. With the cutting out of the money losing B shows, a lot of paranoia has started and some of it is justified. With half as many shows, the mid card guys, for the most part, are going to work a lot less states and make a lot less money. And the underneath guys will, for the most part, have it even worse. Even the top of the card guys are concerned since they'll be on the same show. The feeling is the money will be cut up in a manner where it's split more with top guys. So even the top guys will be earning less. The idea is that if in the past you had undertaker and razor on one B show and you had Sean Brett and diesel on the a show, then none of them is ever more than three from the top. Now, one of those guys is going to be five from the top, which is a lower spot when it comes to making money. The guys were also upset about several shows that have either been canceled or should have been canceled, which would leave them on the road away from home in the middle of a tour for a day, making no money. In the WWF wrestlers only get paid when they work a show. So if a mid card guy is cut from 20 dates down to six or eight, his income will go down 60 or 70%. Some guys are being cut down in dates even worse. And there are guys who go on a month without bookings at all, and therefore have no income. However, the company can't go on running shows that lose money for the company. So wrestlers can have work. So it's a complicated issue. 95 has always been fascinating to discuss because business is down. And I think there's always something to learn when you rebound. And we know the story, the WWF is going to rebound very strong, but it feels like we're knee deep in cost cutting mode here. What do you remember about this time? And specifically this meeting in Cincinnati, it's a rare appearance for Vince on a house show. Well, business was a shit business was, was kind of in the toilet and we were in a place where you're looking at your business and so much of it is, you know, in the red and it's, it's not good. So one of the loss, you know, the, the biggest losses is when you're looking at B shows and or C shows that are a drain and everything that you may have made on one show is completely eaten up and taken away by the other shows. Um, or you just have two average shows that would maybe have just been one good, decent, a show for lack of a better example, but it it was a period where do we want to continue running all of these markets and running as many shows as we are, or should we just run shows where we're going to make money and, the decision, you know, comes down to, all right, we're going to run one show. Now, would it have been better maybe to cut all those people loose? Maybe it should, maybe we should have, right. Maybe we should have, well, there was hope that we would turn it around and, um, that's just kind of where we were at the time. And it was a meeting to go out and address it with all of the talent. And face them before it got to TV. TV is a horrible, a horrible time and a horrible place to try and discuss things like this because you're trying to get your, your own television produced. And schedules, it's a yeah. terrible time to do business. So uh, he makes this appearance, and is this the story, or is that was that another town where supposedly he's on the phone with the quote unquote click and decides to come in? No, this this was to come down and address everybody while they were all at a live event. How do you, uh, what do you remember of the meeting? How was it received? Did you feel like, okay, everybody's at least got a clear vision. It's not like he's down here spreading joy and happiness. He's trying to just manage expectations, right? Yeah. I think people are kind of like just now looking, (laughs) you know, now looking at their bank accounts going, okay, what the fuck? Um, I'm going to have less opportunity to learn. I hope I'm on the events. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.